<sighs> Rowing. Okay, John, why in general does the European Union support something like multimedia? Okay, well, the, the European Union would be interested in, in, in multimedia from a number of different facets, but principally due to the, the structure of the European Union and the areas in which it operates and its competences, it's primarily interested from a, a technical, industrial, employment and, and mass market uh, viewpoint. Um, therefore, we look towards the multimedia industry, uh, as does most of the world, as being one of the growth areas following on from computer software and it also uh, presents perhaps a unique opportunity to preserve and present the individual facets of the cultures of across the community. What kind of multimedia does the EU, EU support? Um, in, in terms of direct support, um, it's very much focused on, if you like, I don't know, industrial concerns, i.e. what exists out there in the mass market. Therefore, Compact Disc Interactive and CD-ROM are demonstrable physical products with mass markets and therefore an effort and an interest is put into those markets. I think today when you look to a more esoteric uh, entity such as the internet and maybe the potential for that, um, that is yet to be properly addressed. And of course we've got to say that interactive television is also a major, a major area of interest. Can you imagine that uh, the EU will support the internet someday? I can imagine like most, most uh, institutions and most governments around the world, the, the European Union is suddenly developing a great interest in the internet. Um, as the internet grows and maybe as we see a, a merger between what we call today the, the internet and the concept of the future, which is very much the information superhighway, that there's going to be a radical change in, in policy in that area. Going back to multimedia, especially concerning CD-ROM and CD-I, uh, uh, what kind of productions uh, do you support? I think that uh, the entities that are actively funding development um, in, in, in these areas, CD-ROM and CD-I, are, are very much focused maybe upon products that they think uh, might appeal to the marketplace in order to build a market. Um, we have the classical problem of Europe where um, it's today in, in, in our competencies 18 countries in the media program with basically uh, 16 languages and great, greatly diverse cultures. Um, across the water in the United States there is one homogenous language market of 260 million people you also have a very large installed base of these products. We have an exact replication of the television situation where we have a great volume of production already paid for by its home market, which is therefore free to, to export, and this releases much more funds for areas like marketing and merchandising and bringing a product to the consumer that's simply not possible in some of the smaller markets uh, in Europe. That answer is very woolly for that, so I mean, maybe you can try a more specific question in that area, I don't know. No, it's okay, uh, because now I want to know uh, what uh, chances there are for artists to get support from the EFX, for example. Okay, well, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I think in general terms for the, for the fine art community, um, maybe they're suffering because of a very late recognition of the potential of these media. Um, uh, I think today here at the Video Fest it's a much more uh, diverse, exciting, uh, interesting event. A couple of years ago it really had a much more narrow focus in, in, in one specific area of uh, maybe performance, maybe exhibition, whatever you like to call it. Um, in terms of uh, artists finding support, I think artists are really desperately needed in this area because uh, my experience in, in recent times has been to look at the products that are now being presented um, as the new multimedia for the consumer and really they're extremely, in a lot of ways, rather dull, very linear, very based on encyclopedia and education. I recently spent um, a couple of afternoons wandering around the, the media, which is the new market for multimedia. I was looking at all the products and I was really struck by the lack of innovation, the lack of ideas, uh, the lack of energy. Um, I think that uh, 
there is a great deal of opportunity and there's a great need for artists to become involved in this area in order to generate the new kind of ideas that are going to drive this medium forward. And, uh, <clears throat> and how do you support multimedia? Is it more production, distribution or what else? Well, I mean, it, it, um, I don't know that my specific competence is, is, is kind of directly interesting here. Um, sorry, I don't know, I'm not answering, we're talking here. Um, the thing in, in situation, there are entities that support the development and production of products, which is perhaps the more interesting area. We are very much involved in a consumer mass market in EVE, and today you could really say that consumer mass market really doesn't exist. Um, in particular distribution infrastructure and things like that don't exist in Europe. So um, I don't know if it's too, it's too esoteric really to talk about my interest in, in this area. Um, I'm making your life difficult here as an editor as well, I know. Yeah. Ask me better questions, I'll give you better answers. Okay. <laughs> uh, the question is what kind of supports exist and, and, and for the artist and really none. No, in general. Just in general. I wanted to know, is it more production, is it distribution or what else? Yeah, okay, I mean, uh, okay. In, in terms of the support that's available in, in multimedia, I think for a number of years there have been uh, production and development funding being given to various companies to develop products in this area. Now we are beginning to turn a focus on to distribution because products are existing, there are a lot of products available and there's an obvious need for the creation of distribution infrastructure in this area. Um, today in, in Europe that really doesn't exist. We are back to a situation of distribution from the very early days of video. Um, we have a great deal of very diversified, specialized and, and indeed rather esoteric production companies who really don't have any idea how to properly distribute and market their products. Um, we're now seeing particularly some very interesting developments from the American side where they have brought big video companies like CIC which is now part of the whole Viacom enterprise and they will now start distributing multimedia products from a wide range of sources. Um, we have a number of major European publishers and distributors interested in this area but as yet I don't think we really have any significant uh, European distribution companies. Okay, thank you, that's all. Okay.